Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to show you how to solve the rotate image problem. You are given an n by n 2D matrix representing an image. Rotate the image by 90 degrees clockwise. So note, you have to rotate the image in place, which means you have to modify the input to the matrix directly. Do not allocate another 2D matrix and do the rotation. So we have to do this in place and we have to rotate the image by 90 degrees. For example, they give you this input image represented as a 2D matrix and after the rotation by 90 degrees you can see that this is the output. Example 2, they give you this input matrix and after the rotation by 90 degrees this is the output. So how can we solve this problem in place? There are several ways to solve this problem. One straightforward way is to calculate the position of the new element and you modify that position every iteration. So that would be one way to do it. You have to uh, calculate the position for the first, where the new element is going to be after the rotation and you continue calculating for every new element that you move. But there's another way. So pay attention to the matrix here. As you can see, after the rotation, you can see that this first row, one, two, three, becomes the last column. The first row, one, two, three, becomes the last column. The second row, becomes the middle column, 4, 5, 6. And the last row becomes the first column. So if you pay attention to that observation, then you can find a simple solution. So as you can see, the first row becomes the last column. The second column, be the second row becomes the second column, and the last row becomes the first column. So how can we solve this problem? We can solve this problem by reversing all the rows and then we can transpose. If you don't know what transpose means, I'm going to explain to you what transposing a matrix means. It means that you're going to convert other rows to columns. So if this row is at the first if this is the first row, then the transpose matrix is going to have this as the first column. This is the second row. The transpose matrix is going to have this as, as the second column. And if this is the third row, the transpose matrix is going to have this as the third column. So I'm going to show you an example. This is the original matrix. So first, in the algorithm, we're going to reverse all the rows. So the last row becomes the first row. And this it stays at the same position and the first row becomes the last row and after we reverse all the rows in the matrix we transpose this and by transposing I mean that the first row becomes the first column 789 789 the second row becomes the second column 456 456 and the last row becomes the last column 1 2 3 1 2 3 and as you can see, this is going to give us the final answer. So by making a clever observation, we can see that we can, ar we can arrive at an algorithm that is efficient. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. So first, I want to reverse all the rows in the matrix. So I can say collections that reverse the matrix. But, as you know, this method collections that reverse takes a, a list. So I'm going to say arrays that as list. So this is going to convert the matrix to a list, but the operation of reversal is going to be applied to the, to the original matrix. So after this line of code, the matrix is going to have all the all the rows reversed so it's going to be like the like this one here it's going to be reversed 
Then the next step is to calculate the transpose. So now we have to calculate the transpose of this reverse matrix. So we're going to have 4 integer i, because if I lose 0, i is less than matrix dot length plus plus i. Then I'm going to have 4 integer j, because if I lose 0, j is less than i plus plus j. So as you can see, actually, this is actually can be zero or can be one, it doesn't matter. So as you can see, we have two nested loops. And in this way, we're gonna be able to to uh, change the rows to columns. So uh, if you notice here, uh, when you do the transpose, the element, what you do is that you can swap the element at position 0, 1, the element of position 0, 1, with the element of position 1, 0. The 4, 8, you swap it, and then you get a 4. So, for every for any element, that's what you do. The element of position 2, 0, then you swap it with the element of position 0, 2. So the element of position to 0 is the 1, the element of position 0, 2 is the 9. After the transpose, you have the 9 and the 1. So you swap this with this. The, ele the element of position 0, 0, uh, the element of position to 0, you swap it with the element of position 0, 2. So this is what we're going to do now. Integer TMP is the value of matrix sub i sub j matrix sub i sub j is the value of matrix sub j sub i and matrix sub j sub i is the value of temp so this should do it I'm gonna run the code okay it seems to be working fine it seems to be working fine so I'm gonna submit a solution It's working perfectly, one millisecond faster than 100% of Java Online submissions for Rotate Image. So as you can see, if you make the clever observation, then you can arrive to the algorithm of reversing the rows and then doing the transpose for every row. Thank you for watching the video. Please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.